Pick me, pick me. Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 43 of Attila's Prep. I'm making a game called Space Prevention Force, a tycoon and management game where you try to save as many lives as possible. Commander, are we ready to get started? Yes, sir. Let's have some fun. This week, I worked on the menu system, so I actually added two new scenes, which is the main menu and the team selection. Uh, the main menu is literally just a start button uh, with the title text and the, the cool background. Uh, and then the team selection is the option to select the robot or the human teams. Uh, you can select either, but it doesn't, doesn't do anything yet. Um, it just goes on to the regular scene. Uh, but the basics of the system are there. It's not a very complicated thing to do. Um, it's kind of the thing you just, you just have to do, do, for the most part. I also tried messing with some of the stuff for the cursor, uh, rather than just keep the default like Windows or whatever cursor. I want to make a custom one. Um, I made it like an X for the destroy building, which I think that fits. But I also tried experimenting with like a custom, like actual just regular cursor. And I didn't really spend much time with it. And it kind of shows because it, like, listen, I, I love my stuff and I love my work, but this, this sucks. So <laughs> I, I, I took it out for now because I'd rather look at the regular Windows cursor than what I. I also spent a good amount of time working on the marketing mechanic. So um, I pretty much honestly took most of the research manager code and put that into the marketing manager because their functionalities are similar in a lot of ways. They are going to be different, but they are somewhat similar. So now you can actually go through and do a marketing campaign and that will increase your market share compared to your competitor. However, market share does nothing right now, so it doesn't, there's really no point in doing campaigns at this moment. But the basic functionality of that is there. Once I actually get the market share implemented, then the mechanic will start to work. And just as a, as a side note, um, I can't spell campaign for the life of me. I literally always forget the G. I don't know why, but I need to learn how to spell it. Where's the G? Where's the G? Other than that, I did a few smaller stuff like fixing menu scaling with the different UIs, uh, fix some bugs with like the destroy building code, some of the upgrade code, uh, just making stuff a little bit more cleaner and, and work a little bit better. I uh, knocked out a good amount of bugs, um, but I also found a lot more this week as well, so it kind of just, kind of just evened out. Hey Garrett, how's the training been? It's awesome. I'm moving much faster with my progression for back handsprings, getting a lot more comfortable with that, which is great because I think at this point right now, fear is the biggest part. I'm just kind of hurling over that, that helps me progress a lot more. Here's the development timeline of the game thus far. I spent 280 minutes on art, 1,065 minutes on programming, and 35 minutes on animation. And here is the development timeline of where the game is going in the upcoming month. For the next steps, I'm gonna continue working. Work, I'm gonna continue working. For the next steps, I'm gonna continue working with the marketing mechanic. I'm gonna actually implement the market share so it actually has an effect on the gameplay. I might need to just do more than that because if how I set it up, it's gonna have I guess more of a more of a deeper effect than just the research. Um, but I definitely want to get that going. Uh, also, I want to try to unspaghetti my code, if you will. Um, it's starting to look a little bit more messy than I like. I'm getting to this point where I feel like it's just kind of getting more held together by, I guess, spaghetti. <laughs> um, so I want to start improving that. So my question for this week, with Thanksgiving coming up, whoever celebrates it, um, and even if you don't, uh, for turkey, do you prefer light or dark meat? Um, I personally like dark meat. So I just kind of, kind of wanted to know. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to reach out and say that if you guys need any help, need someone to talk to, just anything, please let me know. Um, I'm here to help. And I just want to kind of give back to the community that they have given to me. Um, please feel free to reach out. I have links to my Discord friend request. Um, an Instagram DM if you want to talk to you through there. It could be about game development or life or whatever. Um, I'm not claiming I'm, I'm an expert on anything, um, but I am someone you can come talk to. So if you need that, if you feel like that will help you, please come talk to me. And on that, I love every single one of you, and I will see you in the next level.